Welcome to another edition of REACT TV. I'm Don Friedman, president of the RIA Digital Assets Council. Today we have Skip Schweiss, president of the FPA. Skip, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Don. Good to be with you. So let's jump right into it. The first question we have is, you recently released your 2021 Trends in Investing Survey. What were the most salient findings related to digital assets? I think uh, broadly, Don, the thing we're seeing is that investors are becoming increasingly aware of digital assets and cryptocurrencies and are increasingly asking, inquiring of their advisors about them. Uh, last year in our survey, when we asked advisors if their clients are inquiring about digital assets, 27% of our respondents reported in the affirmative. This year, 40% did. So we're certainly seeing an emergence uh, in the public consciousness of uh, of digital assets. Uh, and advisors themselves are starting to come up to speed a little bit more. Uh, this is the fourth year now that we've asked the question of advisors, are you using digital assets yourself uh, and or recommending them to your clients? In the prior three years, uh, the response, we just got 1% of respondents saying, yes, I'm, I'm either using and or recommending them for my clients. This year, 15% uh, said yes. So we are seeing a jump there, not only in, in consumer consciousness, but also in uh, advisor uh, use and recommending of these digital assets. Great, great. The next question we have is, what would you say are the biggest misconceptions financial advisors have about digital assets? And how do you recommend they overcome them? Yeah, it, it's hard to put your finger on any one misconception they might have, but uh, it's clear, and it's clear, as I said in the response to your last question, that advisors are starting to come up to speed on digital assets, and I think their clients are pulling them into that a little bit, as our survey kind of hints at. Uh, just a third of our advisors, though, in our, in our survey said that they consider themselves sufficiently educated and knowledgeable about digital assets to have those conversations with their clients. Another half said they, they feel somewhat uh, educated and knowledgeable. Uh, and actually, 4% said, have no clue. <laughs> That's not a verbatim, but they said, I, I know nothing about them. Uh, so that was interesting as well. Uh, last point here is that uh, we asked advisors if you consider digital assets to be a, a viable investment in, in a client portfolio. Last year, just 2% said, yes, we, we consider it to be a viable asset class and uh, a potential fit in a client portfolio. And this year that went up to 28%. So clearly on both the investor and the advisor sides, those numbers are going up in terms of uh, awareness and, and education and, and active consideration in investing in these types of assets. Yeah, that's great to hear. And, and I would add as an educational provider ourselves, we offer our certificate in blockchain and digital assets program, which is a 11 module course um, that really goes through all the different facets from the technology to the practice management for advisors to get educated on digital assets. So that's available to advisors as well. So Skip, thanks for your time and appreciate you being a guest on React TV. Thanks very much, Don.